From there, the interim superintendent went to Belle Glade to visit students. Our Suji Nam explains some of the protocols in place to keep students safe. This is the fun part, you know. It really is. It really is. Students at Glade Central Community High School getting a special visit on their first day of school. We just wanted to say hi on the first day and kind of welcome people back. Interim Superintendent Michael Burke touring campus and swinging by an agro-technology class. Yes, show me your hands. You got it? No more virtual learning as all students are back in the classroom masked up. It makes me feel great when kids comply. It makes me feel wonderful. And they understand the safety of where in their mass and they're respecting the boundaries of others. Principal Melanie Bolden Morris tells us she hasn't gotten any notes from parents about opting out of the mask mandate so far. Wearing the mask, there's less chance that we might have to close school, you know, and try to avoid outbreaks. And we know this Delta variant spreading the transmission level is very high. There are more than 1,000 students and 71 teachers at Glade Central Community High School. Furthering education while navigating through a pandemic, Burke says he and his staff are working on improved safety measures. Well, we're adding HEP, HEPA air filters or purifiers to all our classrooms. You know, we're encouraging outdoor dining. And then we're going to monitor the local health conditions very closely. Burke tells me that when those conditions improve, they'll then reconsider updating that mask policy. As of right now, masks are required both indoors and on school buses unless the parents decide to opt out of the mask mandate. In Belle Glade, Suji Nam, WPBF 25 News.